welcome to another Camper King guide. In this guide, we're going to show you how to operate the Fiamma F45S wind out sunshade, which is fitted to a number of our vehicles. So it's very, very straightforward. Inside the vehicle, you will find the wind out awning arm. So this is a folding arm that you can use for the wind out itself. And that's very simply has a hook on the end, which connects into the wind out piece of the uh, Fiamma on the end here so you get those connected and then you can start to extend the awning extend the sunshade out and the thing to bear in mind here just to be aware of is you'll need your your sliding door shut at this point and best to have your passenger door shut as well and what you'll need to do is get this to a certain point as you can see the front of the awning is weighing the sunshade down so what we're going to do is take the legs out at this point and they just unclip from there bring those down so you've got a bit of support for the awning at the front then and all there all we've got here is just like a little wing nut that will just tighten that off there so that is now supported so we can now come to the other leg, remove that and drop that down. And the same on this one, use the little wing nut just to release the leg and tighten that up. So now that's fully supported, we can continue winding it out until we're happy with where the position of it is. And obviously, as you move this forward, you're gonna to need to move the legs and extend the legs. Otherwise they start to slip away, as you can see. So we'll come back out again, a bit further. This time, and obviously we're in the showroom at the moment, so we haven't got the benefit of being able to peg these down, but we'll get to a point where we're happy. So we're at a, a stage now where we're almost fully extended. So we'll go to about there, and then we can take the legs up to the desired height. And one tip here is especially if you're not in the particularly sunny climate, is if you're gonna get some rainfall, best thing to do is to leave some of this awning slightly sloping down at one side so your rainwater will run off. So tightening one leg up so that it's ever so slightly shorter than the other allows the rain to fall off in one direction. So there we go. So that's it, fully extended and out. You can obviously put your furniture out here. One thing to be aware of is if you open your passenger door, it will foul up against the awning supports unless you have the leg on this side fully extended. So that is just something to be aware of. And then of course, for returning the awning back to its cassette, all you need to be doing is reversing what you've just done. So again, you get your, your winder in the correct position and just reverse how you've gone. Watching those legs at the same time usually helps to have a second person on the legs just to make sure they can be moved at the appropriate moment. We'll start to shuffle those back in a bit. Once you get to about there, you can start to think about pulling those legs completely in now, back to where they were. So I'll do that. So again, just a reversal of what we've just done. Loosen the wing nut, bring that leg up. Tighten that off. And then it literally will just fold back in and clip in there. Same again here. Like so. 
And then we can finish winding that back in. So in order to be certain that your Fiamma F45 has retracted completely, keep an eye on this red tag just here. And you can see it's out at the moment. But once you've retracted it, that red tag moves in and vanishes. So that is one way to be certain that your Fiamma has been retracted. Job done. That's how to operate your Fiamma F45S Wind Out Sunshade.